Maraba friends, would you like to use Max Disk Utility Partition to create partitions successfully without deleting your data or corrupting your Mac OS installation? It's easy, let me guide you. And oh, by the way, there are some rules for you to follow. I would call it guidelines and rules. <laughs> so, uh, following them, you will be sure that you are not corrupting your Mac OS installation. There are some gotchas that I would like to show you. So please watch the video till the end. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm running macOS Catalina 10.15.6 on an early 2011 Mac and I have 320 gigs of SATA disk. All right, now to show the disk partition tool, we have to press command space to bring up spotlight and enter this utility. Now, when the disk utility shows up, you will see that I have one container disk, which is a partition and macOS and macOS data, which are two volumes. And my macOS and macOS data comprise of my macOS installation. So in a Mac, what you can have multiple container disks and within each container disk you can have multiple volumes okay now hitting on partition button it will ask you whether you want to add volume or partition so i'm going to select partition this is the view of my partition which is a circular view previously mac had a vertical rectangular and they've changed it since the iphone home button i think so so they like everything circular okay i want to bring your attention to the shaded area on the top that is where your mac and mac os volume reside so please never ever never ever bring your part partitioning to that place otherwise your mac os installation will be corrupt and you will use you lose your installation this is the gotcha number one all right now i want you to listen carefully listen carefully if you will there are rules let me present the rules to you okay the, not, the first rule is enlarging a partition requires that the partitioning coming after it be deleted rule number two if you want to reduce the size of the partition then there will be a new partition behind that and it will be it will fill the space rule number three if you delete a partition the partition that precedes it will get the space rule number four the last partition cannot be enlarged it can be deleted so if you don't follow the rules it's the rules but we'll be safe since, we, since we'll be following the rules. I want to show you all the rules one by one. So starting off, I will be showing you rule number two. So I'm going to reduce my macOS, Mac OS partition size. And you, once you click on the plus button, it will bring it exactly to 50%. I have a 320 gigs. So it will bring it to 160 gigs. Now, using this button, you can drag the slider right and left. And remember, it always goes clockwise. It never goes on anti-clockwise. So your partitioning goes from 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock again. So I am resizing my Mac partition to about 70 gigs. No, I think I'll extend it to 100 gigs. And if you see on the right, your size is changing to exactly 100 gigs. But that is the gotcha number two. It is not exactly 100 gigs and I will fix that. Okay, I'll show you. So I'm going to rename my untitled partition to data. I'm going to store my data and the format you can choose as Mac APFS, Mac OS, MS-DOS, SPAT or XPAT. I think we are safe to use APFS. So we'll click on apply and it says partition will be added data. Partition will be resized Mac OS. So click on the partition and we'll wait for the partition utility. Okay, so resizing the wall started volume will cause this computer to stop responding since I'm, it's pretty brave guys. I'm showing you something brave because I'm resizing my actual startup volume and we'll be back when partitioning has completed. Okay, so we are back when the partition has completed. If we load up the disk utility, you will see that I have resized my installation partition and created two partitions for another partition called data. And I have two partitions now mac os is 100 gigs and data is the remaining okay so we have two container disks each time you create a partition it creates a container disk and within those container disks you can add as many volumes as you want so you see i have 100.29 it's not exactly 100 gigs that is the gotcha and we'll fix it please watch the video till the end so i'm going to run first aid on my 
this now to see if everything works and if whenever you resize your OS partition as a precautionary measure you should run first aid okay now our first aid is complete and we are good so some will be like all right so we're not in <laughs> okay so let's click on the partition tool and i'm going to create four partitions to show you the remaining three rules uh you see there if you select the mbs you don't get uh, exactly 100 gigs if the g the gb shows 100 but it's not gb so let me create a new partition and i'm going to name uh, it uh, music now i'm going to name it game sorry i'm just going to resize it to 150 gigs okay but name is games and i'm going to click on apply and this time the video recording will not stop because i'm not resizing my uh, startup volume and so click on partition looks good to me uh, and the partitioning tool will run and we are back and uh, no no we're not back at, at the end here the partition tool is running and we are creating another partition the, the name of game so it created another container disk with the volume games so again another partition i'm going to create and this is just to show you uh, you can create any as many as partition and i'm going to use these four partitions to show the other three rules that i have shown previously to demonstrate the three rules i've shown previously i'm going to create a new partition for music i'm going to size it to 20 gigs and that is a small partition i'm going to store my music okay so let this run and when we are done i'm going to bring up my finder to show you how it looks in finder once we have created partition it shows me in my hitbox mac and these show up as different volumes the drives on your mac so i have data drive i have a game drive and i have a music drive okay i should it should rename me right data game and music is good okay games is plural okay so these are empty because i have not put any data in it so okay now back to my disk utility i'm going to click my first aid again to see if everything looks okay and once this run ah god we are good we're good we're not hit <laughs> okay so let's click on the partition and once this opens so as you can see i have four partitions mac os data games and music so if i want to enlarge my mac partition the only way i can do it is by deleting the data partition so this is rule number three uh deleting the data partition will increase the size of the mac partition uh, i'm going to click on revert and oh by the way if you don't click on apply these changes are not permanent it just shows you a preview of what you're going to get i can add a partition to mac to games i don't want to do that i've already shown you how to create a partition okay so let's say if i want if i delete the games partition then the data partition will be increased this is rule number two uh, i'm i'm forgetting the rules number but it's okay uh, all right reward and the last rule the fourth rule the last partition cannot be increased it can be deleted so we can safely delete it there's no way to increase the size so the preceding partition will get all the size all right so i've shown you all the four rules i told you i'm going to fix my mac os in size to exactly 100 gigs to do that i must first delete the data partition and then once the data partition has been deleted i'm going to come back to my partition thing partitioning view and i'm going to create a new partition but this time i'm going to get exactly 100 gig you see in the, in the mb size the size is different i created a partition and you, the trick is to enter exactly one plus five zeros and just click on apply don't tab out otherwise you will not be getting the exact size to so click on apply and now we will be having exactly 100 gigs so i want i'm going to click, click on cancel I'm going to select untitled and I'm going to name it uh, data, whatever it was. <laughs> okay. So you see Mac OS 100 and data 69.9 gigs. If you click on apply and now it will again, it is going to resize my startup volume. So again, my recording will freeze and I'm going to be back when this has completed. This time, hopefully we'll have exactly 100 gigs. All right, we're back. I'm opening my startup disk. No, sorry, I'm opening my disk utility. And once this opens, we will find that we will have yes see there mac os exactly 100 days and let me run first aid on it to see if everything is good looks good i was having problems guys i mean 100 100.29 gigs i was having problems in in my mac so i had to fix it and i wanted to show you guys 
I don't want my users to suffer because of my video. So I wanted to show you the fix. This is another, this is like the second gotcha and now it is fixed. So that's it guys. That's all I wanted to show you. So pretty short video. Hopefully you liked what you saw. And if you like what you saw, please support me. The best way to support me is by sharing my videos with your friends, hitting the thumbs up. And if you want to see more technology and gaming video like these, please subscribe to my channel. So whenever I create more videos, you will be notified. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Dude, it's not dicks here, yeah, it's disc. Speak clearly. You don't want to frighten your users, huh? <laughs> you, the FP, okay, so I'm going to show you.